Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel and today we are going to solve a very interesting inverse trigonometric equation that is 10 inverse 2 by 11 plus 10 inverse 7 by 24 minus 10 inverse 1 upon 2. So this is a very interesting example of inverse trigonometric function that can come in mathematics olympiads across the world. So let's try to solve it. I will solve this question stepwise here explaining you the reason behind every logical step that I take. But before I begin the solution let me request you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time. So let's start the solution. Whenever there is a condition or a case where three different identities are joined together in a single trigonometric uh, equation or a question, the biggest challenge is to figure out at a time which two has to have to be selected because all the standard formula for trigonometry that is 10 inverse of A plus 10 inverse of B or maybe 10 inverse of B plus 10 inverse of C, they are designed for two times uh, for two entities a time. So in this case we will select the first two on this side that is 10 inverse 2 by 11 plus 10 inverse 7 upon 24 and start applying the formula here. The for standard formula that we have is 10 inverse of A plus 10 inverse of B is given as 10 inverse of A plus B whole divided by 1 minus A multiplied by B. So we will apply this formula in the initial two parts of the question. So this particular formula when applied in this question gives us the answer as 10 inverse 2 divided by 11 plus 10 inverse 7 upon 24 is equal to 10 inverse uh, let's apply the value of a and b so this becomes 2 upon 11 plus 7 upon 24 whole divided by 1 minus 2 upon 11 into 7 upon 24 here. So all we have to do now is to reduce this particular problem at this particular ratio on this side here and then we can proceed further. So this becomes 10 inverse checking LCM on this side and kind of cross multiplying it it becomes 48 plus uh, this will be 77 divided by 264 minus 14. I've just taken the LCM directly 11 and 24 here and then solving it we get this as 10 inverse 48 plus 77 becomes 125 whole divided by 250. So this gives us the answer as 10 inverse 1 upon 2. So that means in the initial question itself on adding these two terms the initial two terms we get 10 inverse of half and the third term is minus 10 inverse of 1 by 2. So that means this particular problem here is is has now transformed into 10 inverse 1 upon 2 minus 10 inverse 1 upon 2. So that means the final answer here will be 0. So I hope that you really like this question. For more such videos on maths, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that the videos reach you timely. Thanks for watching. Bye.